Hi, thanks for tuning in to some news you want to know about the place you love to live. I'm Mayor Sue Ann Hoheimer, and this... Hi, I'm Amy Arrington, City Manager here at Normandy Park, and we thank you for tuning in. Uh, we want to go through some items with you for, for the purpose of improving our communication, and we just want to do a roundup of some of the big decisions and discussions from the council meeting last night. What Amy's trying to say is that we sat through a three-hour meeting, as we usually do for council meetings, and we really want you to know what's going on in our city, but we know you probably don't have three hours to sit through a meeting, so we're going to sum it up for you. Should we start, Amy? That'd be great. So Tuesday, August 10th, these are the items we talked about. Thanks. We began our meeting with a presentation from the Senior Activities Center of Des Moines and Normandy Park. And uh, we learned that we have quite a few um, options for our seniors in Normandy Park where they can interact with others from Des Moines for things like lunches and games. And um, so people can contact the Des Moines Activity Center and find out a little bit more about that. Yeah, because we actually have an interlocal agreement with Des Moines for these services, so we really hope our seniors take advantage of them. That's great. Next, after that, we opened the session for some public comment. And the main thing we learned in our public comment is that we have people in our community who are really ready to see us get back to in-person meetings. That was kind of the big takeaway from public comment. After that, we moved on to our continued business and uh, we were able to um, unanimously vote in another planning commissioner, David Riley, and that gives our planning commission a full slate of officers, which we're really happy about because we have a lot of work to do on the planning commission and it's going to take all seven commissioners to get that done. And we also just want to thank all the interested parties that wanted to serve on the Planning Commission. All our commissions are fantastic citizen boards, so we appreciate your interest and looking forward to all the good work the Planning Commission is going to be doing. That's right. I think it's one of the things that makes Normandy Park so awesome is we have just incredible turnout of volunteers to lend their services, their skills, their talents in all kinds of ways. So again, I agree with you, Amy. Thank you for all those who were interested in that position. Um, next, we moved on to our new business. And um, last night we created a new line item in our budget for ARPA funds. That stands for the American Rescue Package Plan. Amy, tell us a tiny bit about that. This is just something you've probably heard about. Uh, the federal government is delegated funds to help communities recover from the effect of COVID. And we are receiving some funds. Um, we're really excited about that. We haven't decided the best way to spend that. We're still working on it. But once there's a plan uh, that we were, our staff ready to suggest, we'll be talking to the council about it. But this is just a fund that kind of keeps us funds, you know, special and debt separate. Doesn't get co-mingled Ex with anything else. Exactly. Right? So there'll be more coming on that. So stay tuned. All right. Thank you for that. Next, we went on to um, discuss the Title Three utility fees and. Um, that could sound a little bit confusing, but the whole point of this is we just want to get a dialogue started within our city and give them permission to sort of work with our utilities, um, like our Midway Sewer and Southwest Suburban Sewer District, the Highline Water District, and our King County Districts 49 and 54. Those are all um, various utilities that interact with Normandy Park residents. And what we'd love to get to is a, a point in time where there's a 6% franchise fee across the board with all those utilities. Rather than have different agreements with different ones, we're gonna work on getting some consistency. And so that's kind of the bottom line on that issue. Did I get that right? You did. And the, another big takeaway from staff is it's meant to encourage franchise agreements, which just really make it easier and protects the city and the residents um, in the future when there's maybe a conflict and utility lines have to be moved. So it's a great direction uh, to go for the protection of Normandy Park. I love that. All right, next we moved on to um, House Bill 1220. It might be called Senate House Bill 1220. It passed already at the state level. And um, these are some recent laws that actually mandate that the cities comply with uh, these, some state regulations to house homeless people in various forms and fashion. Um, so that got a little, uh, 
A lot of no. discussion. Discussion. A lot Some of discussion. Of, yeah, that we, we had a lot to say about that as council members. Um, the good news is we were all very much in agreement with one another um, about the fact that uh, this is going to take some focus. And um, so the ultimate uh, decision, I guess you'd say, from last night's meeting is that we really felt we wanted to hear directly from our representatives at the state level. We want to have someone come and sit with us, likely our representative, Tina Orwell, um, but we'll reach out because we really want to have them come and sit with us and just give us a little bit more information about kind of why why were cities left out of this discussion or how were they involved in maybe we just didn't know about it um, because there there's a lot in this that can really affect the overall nature of, of Normandy Park and, and we're not sure that the values that we hold here are really being represented in this legislation and uh, so we wanted to learn a little bit more about it before we pass it off to our planning commissioners which you know we have seven of now um, because ultimately our planning commissioners would need to do some of that deep dive work in order to figure out how best we can comply with these mandates if that is indeed what we need to do in order to get something that that really does work the very best for the city of Normandy Park and our residents and the values that we hold. And um, so I, I hope I captured that. What no, else? Amy and I, on and that I think one? it would be great because I know the council hoping to talk with our representatives to learn a little bit more about the intent and what's trying to be accomplished. And I think another right. key takeaway we talked about is how do we, I would say, improve that communication so we are not reacting after something's been approved that we're maybe hopefully a little bit more part of the conversation when things like this are being considered. I love it. And you're right. The intent, I mean, I'm assuming the intent is that we see homelessness as a regional issue. And so every city should take it upon themselves to do what they can to um, alleviate the homeless situation. And it doesn't ask anything about, you know, behavioral health or um, drug addiction or any of that. So we're hoping we can just get some more answers on some of those important aspects aspects of what we tend to lump together as a homeless issue. No, Normandy Park definitely wants to be involved in helping in any way that we can with that kind of important yeah. regional impact. So if you're interested, stay tuned because I think there's going to be a big meeting, probably still Zoom at this point, uh, hopefully with our representative, the city council, and also the planning commission. So it'll be some good discussion. So then we moved on to a discussion about our own committees here at the council, various committees um, that are regional that we sit on and council committees that um, function as advisory committees under the council's um, leadership. And so that discussion led us to basically come up with um, three sort of new, new ideas. One, um, an education committee was officially formed and members assigned to that committee and um, I think we'll be looking for more um, members from the community to help facilitate that as well or be a part of that. Next we um, discussed continuing on with the youth advisory board in some capacity but we're going to put together uh, a little more in writing and sort of bring that back to the council as a whole before that becomes official. And then finally we also agreed upon uh, initiating a capital campaign for fundraising um, and that is in regard to our new civic center. So we'll put a committee together that will kind of get us started on um, discussion and then action around raising funds for our civic center which is actually the topic that we ended the night discussing. Amy, do you want yeah. to tell us a little bit more about that? I'd be glad to, but one thing I'll just mention on council committees, mm -hmm. Normandy Park um, is special in many ways. And one of the ways I think they show this and their commitment to the public is these council committees are not exclusive to just council members. As you heard the mayor mention, uh, we definitely regularly in, uh, invite and involve our residents. So if there's a topic that you're interested in, definitely keep an eye on our website and look for the meetings and please join in. But a big project we're working on, as the mayor mentioned, is our Civic Center project. Uh, very exciting. We're fine tuning the programming and we are at a point where we're working with our architect Miller Hall and we're at a point where the, the construction the construction budget is probably a little bit higher, not probably, it is a little bit higher than what we were hoping. We had set a budget which involves 
grants, a bond issue, and some community contributions. So the council is still committed and wants the project to go forward as planned because it's really going to provide a lot to the community. So the big ticket we're looking at now is putting that capital campaign committee to work to get a plan on how we're going to uh, get busy and raising some money to support this great project for the benefit of the city. And I think you heard the council say last night, Amy, that we're really looking forward to seeing just some kind of general renderings of the building so that when we're out and about meeting with residents, we're able to show them like this is what this would look like uh, and, and just sort of generate some enthusiasm with, you know, we can't, not everybody is great at envisioning so we'd like to get something on paper so that you can see what we're talking about in terms of putting together a place that really is the heart of our community sort of a, a back porch of the city where we can gather and and enjoy community activities together um, as well as carry on all the important duties of the city and the services that we offer so absolutely we're looking forward to getting all that and start to really start that campaign and letting the public know this great plan that's moving forward and that pretty much wrapped up our three hours of discussion for the evening is there anything else that we left out amy that you could think of no i think that is it we all just right. hope you enjoy this uh new video on our new uh youtube the channel so yeah mm -hmm. well and keep an eye on the station because i think you're going to see more videos coming all right. Well, thank you. We're going to end this on a note of calm and we'll just say we'll see you in the park.